Am I the asshole? For not adding a third bathroom to our house. My husband, our daughter's 18, 16, 16, 12, and I live in a four bed two bath house. All of the girls share a bathroom and they've been complaining about it for a while. We've been saying we'll convert the laundry room into a bathroom for the twins for a while. It's an expensive project so we've never gotten to it. My husband and I started working on our garage recently and turned it into a gym for him, a new laundry room, and an office for me. Then we came into some money and decided to renovate both bathrooms, remodel the kitchen, and do work on the backyard. The girls were pissed when we told them about the work we were doing on the house. They were saying it's not fair that my husband gets a gym when the twins share a room and that we chose to work on the backyard instead of adding the third bathroom. They've been calling us selfish and even got our parents and siblings to give us a hard time for not giving the girls another bathroom or giving the twins their own rooms. They don't understand that now that the laundry room is done we have the space for the bathroom. The bathroom is next on our list. I wanted to get some outside opinions on this since our kids and our families have been giving us a hard time. Info do the bathrooms and kitchen you already have need renovation? If they don't and adding an extra bathroom into a house that has six adults teens is a possible option I think you may have your priorities wrong. We've been saying we'll convert the laundry room into a bathroom for a while. INFO how long is a while and how transparent were you with your plans while you undertook work on seven different room spaces instead of the promised bathroom? They don't understand that now the laundry is done we have the space for the bathroom. Why do they not understand this? Did you not tell them? And how do all the other renovations help? You're the asshole. Info is the 18 year old going away to college soon, and, if so, will you then tell your kids that you don't need a new bathroom because now only three people are sharing the existing one? So, how long have they known where on the list their project was? Because if I were the teenager, if at some point, after five other projects was not an explicit statement as a part of yeah, we'll add a bathroom, if feel lied to. Probably because, really, it was being lied to. If nothing else, lie of omission. Uda. You need to do the bathroom before the kitchen and lawn. Four teenagers to one bathroom? How do you get them all to school on time? Info why don't you let any of the children use the adult bathroom? Four in one and two in the other seems a little unfair. You're the asshole for no other reason than you've lead the girls to believe that it would be done when you get the opportunity. You had to have the chance in doing everything but. Info do you let your daughters use your bathroom? Info can you detail your remodel budgets? Info 2 how does the bathroom sharing works here? If the remodeling and yard stuff costs say more more than a third bathroom then you're the asshole, since remodeling could be from just painting and changing some faucets to demolishing everything. If you have four girls currently sharing one bathroom then it makes you an even bigger ah. There is four of us in our home and we share one bathroom and all have the smallest bedrooms you can even imagine. If I came into some money the first thing I would do is extend to give my children more space and another bathroom. There is no way I'd be adding a gym, a second laundry room and whatever else until I made my children more comfortable. You're the asshole. You're the asshole. We told our kids we'd add a bathroom when we could, and then we spent tens of thousands of dollars on the yard, a gym, an office and remodeling the existing bathrooms. Am I the asshole? Now up, read that back and think for a minute. You didn't have to lie to your kids. Lots of families struggle with bathrooms. But you lied about it and then acted wildly selfishly. You're the asshole. You said the bathroom is next, but you also said you're working on the backyard first. So which is true? Either way you're prioritizing projects that only benefit you and your husband, and putting off the project that will benefit four people. Are you trying to postpone it until they've all moved out? From their point of view. Mom and dad got nicer things for themselves and really don't care what their yappy daughters are complaining about. Really, the backyard got more priority than getting the girls their own room? Sounds like it's a parent's needs first sort of household. Why did you have kids if you prefer keeping the comforts for yourself? You did a gym, a new laundry room and an office, not to mention renovate both existing bathrooms, remodel the kitchen, and do work on the backyard before doing either another bedroom so twins can have their own rooms and or another bathroom? You're the asshole majorly and need to sort out your priorities better. You're the asshole. If your excuse is that you needed the laundry room to build the third bathroom, then you should have done home reno in the following order. Laundry room. Third bathroom. Additional bedroom. And then all the other shit you did instead. 
You and your husband prioritized everything by your desires for luxury or convenience, while neglecting the growing needs of your children. You're the asshole. Four share one bathroom and you and your husband one? And dearest daddy needs his gym, crying face, crying face, crying face, crying face, s. You're the asshole. If you had no money for a renovation, that would be one thing. Adding a toilet and shower to a laundry room where there is already existing plumbing is not that large of a project, and yet you chose a home gym and an office. Yes, lots of families have more than four people to a bathroom, but you showed your daughters that their needs were less important than your wants. They won't forget that when they move out in a couple short years and will plan their visits accordingly. You're the asshole. Moving the laundry room was necessary for the bathroom, but when you came into some money, the promised bathroom should have been the next thing on the list, not a remodel of both bathrooms, kitchen and yard. A second bathroom would immediately benefit all four of your children. An updated bathroom and backyard doesn't help them at all. Do you value your word? It sure doesn't seem like it. You chose luxury over necessity, you put your own wants above your children's needs. You're the asshole. You're the asshole because you made a promise you chose not to keep. What other projects will push the promise down the list? It seems that you don't value that promise you made. It's not about the sharing but about what you're communicating to your daughters. You're the asshole. Two bathrooms between six people, one of which has to be shared between four people, another one should have been priority and was on the cards. You didn't do it because it was expensive, but managed to renovate the garage and when you came into money decided newer projects were more important. That you converted part of the garage into a laundry space indicates the space you were already using for laundry before then was open for another bathroom, a project that would have served a far more practical value than work on the backyard. Had that been my household, an extra bathroom would have been one on my list. Not an effing gym. I can work out anywhere, in very little space. You're the asshole for having your priorities mixed up. You're the asshole. You told your daughters that you were going to build another bathroom then went back on your word. You prioritized you and your husband's comfort over your children's. Why don't you and your husband share your bathroom with one of your children so each bathroom supports the same number of family members? You're the asshole, and so is your so. You are both incredibly selfish thinking about your own wants first while your twins are 16 and still sharing a room and you have four teenagers all sharing one bathroom. I would be bitching too. They deserve renovations on the house that will give them their own space first before you get an office and your husband gets a gym. FFS. Selfish. There's only three people sharing my one bathroom in my house. Two adults and a child. And it's still a hassle. It's doable, but a hassle. You're the asshole for lying to them about adding a bathroom. The problem is that you've lied to them repeatedly and shown them where your priorities lie, it's not in keeping your word and it's not them. Don't make promises you won't care to keep. Four girls could share a bathroom, my family of eight kids and two parents shared one bathroom, it's that you said you'd do it and then you spent it all on you and your husband. You're the asshole. You're the asshole, you said you would do it, but then you did everything else, and didn't live up to your promise even though you had the money and clearly the opportunity. I'd be pissed too. You're not obligated. But clearly your word is worth nothing. So you lied to your daughters? You said you'd convert the laundry room, and instead did seven other projects first. I get that the three projects in the garage made it more possible to do the bathroom in the house, but why did you do the other bathrooms, the kitchen, and the backyard first? Your husband gets a gym and you get an office, and the twins are sharing rooms and four girls to one bathroom? And you're surprised that folks think you're selfish? You're the asshole only because you said you would and you didn't deliver, you put your wants first. You have the money and spend it on yourself and husband without caring about the kids. For sharing one bathroom is doable but hard, and you've been promising them that you will do it. You're the asshole. You do realize that having the extra bathroom will help while you are remodeling? As then you will still have two bathrooms to use rather than one. Because the bathrooms are more than likely going to be out of commission while getting done. You're the asshole because you actually had the means to make this happen, had already been talking about it for some time, and just chose not to? And not only that, did multiple home renovations that I know cost way more than adding another bathroom. It's very selfish of you. You're the asshole. You have two kids sharing a room, but though a gym and an office was more important? I'd be absolutely livid if I was your children. You're the asshole. You knew the bathroom was causing tension conflict with your kids. You told them you'd build them a new bathroom which they were all anticipating and looking forward to. Sure, 
your kids won't die from sharing a bathroom, but it's straining their relationships with each other and with their parents. Do you really think a home gym and office are more important than your kids being happy and comfortable? Because that's essentially exactly what you told them when you pushed the bathroom reno to the back burner.